Democracy Among Students and Teachers, Archie Forpo, Tech for High School Initiative, Liberia. Hello, everyone. I'm excited to share with you my journey. I started in high school, a journey of challenges, self-discovery, and a commitment to bring about change in the realm of education and technology. In high school, I wanted to participate in tech hacker talks. I wanted to develop my own personal apps and website to solve problems in education and technology. They part the basic computer science curriculum, but the lack of access to computer makes it more challenges. Many of our teachers were unfamiliar using computers, creating a gap between knowledge and practical application. Post high school, I formulated, post high school, I decided to uh, go on online courses like Ozira, FreeCodeCamp, and YouTube. I taught myself, invested my time and energy acquiring 21st century skills. This personal experience highlighted a broader issue faced in Liberia, a lack of technology access for students. According to UNICEF, approximately 95% of high school students in Liberia are computer illiterate. Determined to make a change, I formulated a solution based on four pillows, renovating computer lives and providing computers for high school students ensuring that they implement their theoretical knowledge, introducing a computer science curriculum that focuses on Microsoft Office, coding to develop websites and mobile applications, robotics, electronics, and entrepreneurship, preparing students to succeed in this digital era. Uh, we are renovating uh, training teachers so that they can integrate computer science into their teaching practices. Uh, we are conducting remote training so that they can be able to I have access to computer learning, like reaching out to rural areas and other stuff. To implement this solution, we are partnering with the Ministry of Education through the Moreover Considerating School System to assist or uh, identify schools, most of us uh, are underprivileged schools, to carry out our programs. We are also working with them to develop a practical computer science curriculum to introduce it into the curriculum. We are working with TME Education, a company based in Portland that assists us with computers and other resources to implement these uh, programs. Uh, we are working with Orange Centers uh, to assess or conduct youth tech trainings. We are also engaging schools, local organizations, and community to increase the accessibility of our remote trainings. Results include exciting achievement. A month, we are we are operating a computer lab at the Matera Nimbo High School that is benefiting over 700 plus students, including teachers. Our remote training has expanded up to 25 schools in rural and urban communities. We have trained over 50 plus teachers to assist or implement our programs into the various institutions. We have impacted over 6,000 plus youth and students, including teachers. Uh, results including exciting achievement. One of our students developed a solar tracker that osmorized solar energy. It produced efficient and effective electricity. Uh, one of our teachers developed a student database management system that includes student information, grades, etc. We are excited that one of our female students developed a student learning application that assists uh, kids from Tori to preschool how to recite the ABC, one, two, three, etc. We have learned two ventures. A month is the Max Innovation Hub that is involved into the production of products. One of that products is a solar rechargeable fence. Uh, we are also excited about upcycling girls that involve into youth empowerment uh, with emphasis on female to recycle plastic waste bottles into products that are useful. In my journey, personal setback to proactive initiatives showcase resilience. Partnering with institutions like the Ministry of Education, TME Education, and local organizations and community is, in, is essential for, for partnership for sustainable impact. Bridging the digital gaps in remote areas is essential for equitable access to opportunity. In summary, the journey of personal setback to proactive uh, projects highlight comprehensive solutions. In essence, the project is not only solving immediate problems in Liberia, but showcase the transformative power of accessible and practical education. Together, we are bridging the gap, leaving no one behind in this digital era. Thank you. Thank you, Archie. So, do we have any questions for Archie? So, technology doesn't necessarily better education, it broadens education. Can you give a counter example of what I just said? Come again. So if it 
if it if computing is bettering education also that's the question if technology is bettering yes uh, from from my from my perspective uh, my region is actually bettering uh, our education system because it has been more on the uh, traditional learning but with technology we are seeing how impact impactful is it in terms of research and other activities yeah so how about the money to make your project sustainable okay so like i said we are partnering with tme education a company based in poland that assists us with resources like computers and other resources we also do fundraising we also conduct trainings for other youth that we raise those uh, funds from. So we, we do a uh, local uh, fundraising too. So there's a lot of people in the room here that could potentially help. How, how can people help support what you're doing? How can people get involved? Um, so uh, there are so many ways you can get involved. Like uh, we actually need, uh, the experts, uh, firstly, we actually need experts to assist or develop this uh, curriculum because we're working with the Ministry of Education, so we also need additional experts, like international experts, that will work with us, make a curriculum that will be more adjustable for us in our setting. And we also need additional, like, funding to re reach remote areas because it's actually uh, kind of a little bit hard to reach uh, in remote areas, particularly with the rural areas. So we need additional funding to open uh, additional computer labs uh, for more especially those underprivileged schools who don't have access to these opportunities. Thank you for the great project. So what's the biggest challenge to scale your operation? Uh, to you. reach a broader cause, we need additional funding to reach uh, most, uh, we want to go more beyond, not even in Liberia. We want to reach in other West African countries, including Africa as well, and maybe globally. So uh, we need more funds, we need more workforce, we need re more resources to uh, bridge this gap. Thank you. 